A lot of times in math, especially if we want to do an approximation, we do what's called rounding. And rounding's where instead of using the actual number, the actual perhaps decimal or fraction or really big or really small number, instead of using the actual number, we do an approximation and that's called rounding. And there is a general rule to follow when you're rounding. And that rule is if the number is five or higher, you're gonna round up. And if the number is zero, one, two, three, or four, um, you're gonna round down or just kind of what we call truncate it, cut it off. And I'll tell you, I'll show you what we're talking about here on the board. Um, first, the directions here say, first round to the nearest tenth, then round to the nearest whole number, and then round to the nearest thousand. So in addition to instructions telling you to round or approximate, it'll tell you how specific to be. When this tells me to round to the nearest tenth, the tenth place is the first number that comes after the decimal right here. So I'm rounding three point something. It'll be 3.4 or 3.5 or 3.9 or something. It's going to be three point some number, because that's the tenth place. So we're going to try these ones rounding to the nearest tenth. Starting with 3.426. That four is the number that's going to be rounded either to stay at four or go up to five. And in order to determine whether that four is going to stay as four as change or change, I look at what comes next. So 3.42. I want to decide, is the two uh, between zero and four, or is the two five or higher? And of course, two is um, from zero to four, so I'm going to round it like this. This is going to be approximately 3.4. And when I'm doing rounding or any kind of approximation, you'll see I'm going to notate it with this squiggly equal sign. Um, and it's not quite equals, it's not straight lines, and so it's squiggle to show it's approximately, it's around. Or the next one, 3.5, that five is either going to stay as a five or it might be 3.6. We have to decide based on the two. Well, the two there, again, is uh, between zero and four, so this will be approximately 3.5. Next one, I have 3.6. The six is the tenth. That's the one that might change based on this nine right here. And the nine is bigger than five, so it's going to round up. This will become now 3.7. That's how we do rounding to the nearest tenth. Let's try a couple rounding to whole numbers, and this might be a little bit easier. Whole numbers are counting numbers, like 15, 16, 17, 18. Those are what I mean by whole numbers. So 18 is either going to stay as 18 or go up to 19. It would never become 17. It's either going to stay as it is or maybe go up. Um, and this one says 18.2, so I'm going to round that to regular old 18. That's a whole number. My answer is the whole number, just like how here my answers were to the tenths. Or 21.54, I don't care about the 5-4 part. What I care about is the 5. That 5 tells me to round up. This is going to be approximately 22. Whole number. We'll try a couple more. These ones now are rounding to the nearest thousand. So 1,000 means my answer will be like 3,000 or maybe 4,000 based on the number next to it. The number next to my 3,000 is a 1. That tells me to round down to approximately 3,000. Here, 5,000, maybe 6. Let's see. The number next to it is a 5. So following that rule, I'm going to round up to 6,000. And this one also, 5,500, I'm going to round that up to 6,000 because of that five in the hundreds place. So before I let you try a couple of these on your own, um, again, the takeaway rule for rounding is if the uh, number next to your indicated uh, tenths value is five or higher, you round up. If it's from zero to four, you leave it as it is. You just kind of truncate it or stop that number. And then one other thing to be aware of, if you're working with large numbers like this or if you're working with money, um, you might find that rather than always rounding up, sometimes people alternate. Even if it's a number higher than five, when they're working with money in the real world, sometimes they'll round up with fives and then round the next one down, even if it has fives. Round the next one up, round it down. And the reason why is because if you always round up in the real world with money, you're going to be overestimating all of your correct answers. So let's try a few of them in the concept videos. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over.
So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. 